Steve. And the That's oh my impressive. goodness, Friday night those pictures came rolling in. It was like a photography contest. <laughs> <laughs> Did, you, really did you get to see any of it? I didn't see it, no. I didn't I either. It. All right, Lainey, how about you? I, I did see it. You were in I'm King, good, weren't you? Yeah, okay, I was up toward King. I thought I'd get a good view of the north there. There's a little pull off there on 52, so I was able to see that pretty well. And yeah, I'm guilty of uh, posting some of those pictures as well. And cloud skies, cloudy skies out there today, so no seeing any of it. As a matter of fact, we were seeing, of course, kind of that activity waning there from the sun. So. Yeah, it was good while it lasted. Now, speaking of our weather, it was also good while it lasted, right? We had sunshine over the weekend, blue skies, clouds come in today. We've got rain tomorrow, scattered thunderstorms in the forecast on Wednesday. It's going to continue to be unsettled for most of this week, and we're watching the weekend real closely as we've got some rain chances around even then. Impact days, several of them so far, tomorrow, Wednesday, and Friday. An impact day, meaning that rain, will likely have you looking at or maybe changing or altering your plan. We've got high temperatures today in the low to mid 70s. So we have been a little bit below normal today. 69 right now in Mount Airy. Dew points are coming up. They were in the 30s over the weekend. That real crisp air. They're starting to nudge up into the 50s and we're seeing some of that moisture in the form of clouds. We're also seeing at least a few showers trying to get organized down to the south and to the west. Now this little wave will come through this evening. Shouldn't hit many of you. We'll just see a few spotty showers. Most of the rain is going to come from a couple of areas of low pressure, one that's down over Florida, one that's over New Orleans, and those will be tracking over the Carolinas over the next 24 hours. So for us, that means rain. Thankfully, no real risk of severe weather. That looks to stay down to our south with this, but there is an opportunity for excessive rain across our area, and we're already pretty soaked there on the grounds. And if we add another inch or more of rain, as is possible, heading into that Tuesday, Wednesday time period, we could see some isolated flooding. So this evening, we've got some scattered patchy light rain around overnight. Tomorrow morning, we'll wake up to some scattered rain. I do think we're going to see some waves tomorrow. Well, we'll have some heavier downpour and then we could see an area by afternoon that pretty much covers us up for several hours of some pretty heavy rain and we could have some isolated thunder with that as well. That's going to keep temperatures down some tomorrow. So highs are only in the 60s. We've got 90% chance of rain for most of the day from midday on. For the foothills, we're seeing those rain chances develop and increase throughout the day as well with highs in the mid 60s. And for the mountains, we go from showers in the morning to kind of steady widespread rain most of the day with highs in the low 60s. So the areas of low pressure to the south cause the first wave of rain. Wednesdays is with this, a cold front that's out over Missouri. So first we push this through very quickly and then we wait for that secondary front to come in on Wednesday. So early part of the day, Wednesday should be fairly dry and get some things done. But then we've got that scattered shower and thunderstorm chance by Wednesday afternoon. Again, it looks like just general thunderstorms with the threat for more severe weather farther to our south and to our east. Now the seven day forecast has a relatively dry day on Thursday. We've got a small chance of rain. It's just so unsettled folks heading into the weekend. We're going to see some late day showers and storms. It looks like right now on Friday, some showers around on Saturday and perhaps even a small chance on Sunday.